All right, you are listening to a live coverage of that press conference that's just wrapping up right now. That was David Donovan, the emergency management coordinator for Scott County, wrapping things up. Of course, Davenport Mayor Frank Klipsch talking as well and a lot of different numbers, a long press conference, mm -hmm. a lot of facts and figures that we just learned from this flood and the, the breach of the levee that happened yesterday. Yeah, a lot to talk about. I mean, mainly what we're finding out is that this is just kind of like the perfect storm. Yeah. It's a lot of rain, a lot of snowpack from up north coming together and creating what we saw yesterday. And I think the big question that a lot of us were wondering was how did this happen? Mm -hmm. And they did sort of answer that. They said that the height of the water simply exceeded the level of flood protection in that area. This temporary flood wall made up of those HESCO barriers yeah. that plus several inches of heavy rain that we've gotten over the last couple of days and the unknown of what the infrastructure yeah. is like beneath all this water because we've been in this flood fight for right for 48 days. 48 days. That's, that's okay, I didn't uh, know if I wrote that down and it was an error or not, but 48 <laughs> days and all of these things coming together yeah. created just not a good situation yeah. that happened yesterday. So we've got Ryan Jenkins, who's been there all morning long listening mm -hmm. to this press conference. He was also on the uh, on the west side of downtown Davenport this morning at Mary's on second. Um, I think one of the interesting things, Ryan, that they brought up, I, I heard Mayor Frank Clips say they're going to quote explore um, a flood wall maybe in the a next permanent flood wall, a right. permanent flood wall in the next couple of months, maybe years. Yeah. You know, nobody knows whether or not that's actually going to happen. But do you feel like there's an appetite for that right now within business leaders and residents in the downtown area? Well, I mean, talking with business leaders and with res residents, anytime uh, there's this much water sitting in downtown Davenport, um, as the mayor was kind of saying, of course, that initial reaction is going to be, yes, build a flood wall. But uh, looking at the big term, the, the cost, the long term um, impacts of building that flood wall, um, it sounds like that's still up in the air right now. There's no um, plans to build a flood wall as of right now, but the mayor did say that that's something that is going to be explored. Um, I I think the big thing will be how much will it cost. Absolutely. And Ryan, they talked about a little bit about the plan moving forward here with all those businesses affected near Pershing on River Drive and 2nd Street. It sounds like they have no plans to pump that water out. They're just going to have to let it sit there until the water recedes, right? Yeah, that's right. It looks like the river has no plans of going below major flood stage, maybe up to 30 days from now, up to 30 days more or less. Um, really, the more immediate plans are revolved around getting resources to the people who need resources um, and taking a look at some of the damage that already exists here in downtown Davenport with all of the water that's just sitting in that area um, in second in Pershing and really all the way down second um, through downtown Davenport here. So uh, looking at that, trying to understand how that's going to impact the people who live there, the people who work there, because there's no plans to really pump the water out. It's just going to have to recede back into the river. So we know that River Drive and, and, and 2nd Street also inundated with flooding, at least on, on Pershing. Mm -hmm. there, there isn't any threat to 3rd Street right now as we oh. get further north and further uh, as you get closer away up the from hill. the river. Yeah. Well, as of right now, um, that was not something that was mentioned. This type of flooding and this a long term flooding is unprecedented in Davenport. So does the risk of more temporary barriers um, breaking exist or that risk will exist? And if that were to happen, um, who's to say what could happen? You know, we talked with uh, Nicole Gleason, who we just heard about um, in that uh, press con or heard from in that press conference a short time ago. We talked to her way back in the beginning of April, and she said that this is not something that Davenport has had to deal with before this amount of flooding, this long term flooding. So trying to, to understand what could happen if another temporary flood barrier breaks, that's something that uh, that we just don't know right now. And that risk to Third Street, could it happen? Sure. But as of right now, no. So what are the next steps, Ryan? I know that we're already under a local emergency declaration. We're under a state emergency declaration in the state of Iowa. What are the next steps moving forward from right now? That's right. You heard the mayor say that the governor is planning on coming into town uh, later this week. And you also heard him mention that he's in contact with officials um, in the White House trying to get a presidential declar declaration and also um, in contact with members um, of FEMA. So right now I'm um, trying to take a look at how can Davenport get the resources that it needs uh, to help recover the city, the residents, the businesses from all of this flooding. That's what city leaders are looking uh, at here in Davenport right now. And there was also some